delivery for you? Yeah. Three mouldings well enough to it. Thank you, sort of that, we'll get that. Okay. Cheers. The architrave here. Okay, so last night I set up this uh, old gazebo of ours as a bit of a spray booth. Luckily it wasn't too cold, so I got both sides done over the course of the evening and left them to kind of dry overnight. Just using one of these Erlex system sprayers without the compressor. Um, and it works fairly well, but I tell you what, it takes some setting up. So I found you really need to thin it down and definitely strain the paint. I was unclogging the nozzle every couple of minutes to start with, so uh, but it seems to be okay now. I'm still going to finish the top coat by hand when it's in position with a brush because I like that finish but for getting the undercoat on it was quite easy and uh, used a lot less paint. So last night I was thinking I could do this quicker and easier with a roller, but that's taken me 10 minutes to do all those seven boards. And it's not dry yet, but the finish is pretty good for just the undercoat. Hopefully these will be dry in a few hours, and then I can suck them back in the garage. All the architrave just arrived. I uh, managed to weave it through the house. So, and that's the dado rails as well. But if you remember the two samples that I ordered, uh, I ordered the smaller one, and then a couple of days ago called up, changed my mind, and they sent the bigger one, which is, I think, gonna give us a better look and more like what was here originally. They're 4.8 meters, so you're gonna suspend them between those two ladders and spray them there and hopefully there won't be any flies around. So a bit of a production line at the moment getting all of this primed and sprayed. Um, got all of the architraves out now and the dado rails which are in the middle here and I'm just uh, using some knotting solution just to go over all these knots. Um, not sure if I need two coats but certainly give them one good coat of that stuff. I'm just using a cloth to dab that on. I think what I'm going to do is spray them all the sand and when they're sprayed slide them along and just kind of loop them around have a bit of a system. So the paint I'm using is acrylic and that's obviously much safer to be spraying with but it's quite thick. It's, it's a Leyland paint and all I'm doing is I've just put a splash of water no idea what ratio that is maybe kind of one part water to five part paint uh, but it seems to be working okay. So we'll give this a little buzz up with the uh, combi drill. So I just got to work out the best way of priming all these. I think what I'm going to do is turn them up on their end, spray the kind of bull nose part, then I'll fold it down and spray the lot, including the side. I'm not going to worry about the back with these 
it was more of an issue with the MDF. This is solid pine and all the walls that they're going on to are, well nearly all, are all internal walls anyway. So it'll be nice and dry. So this is the sprayer I'm using, just an off-the-shelf DIY store uh, model and made by Erlex, which I've got their shop backs as well. Good British company, um, or at least I think they are. And this is all you, all you have at the other end. Uh, they do do a higher grade model, which has kind of got a metal canister, but this seems to be doing the job. The nozzle is fairly thick, so it's not, probably not good for the finishing coat, but for this undercoat, it's doing the job. Great, and really easy to clean, because you just pump a whole canister of water, spray a whole thing of water through it, and that cleans it for you. Over on this side of the garden, it looks like it's snowed from all the overspray. I need to get the lawnmower out, but on this side, I've managed to put down some cardboard, so hopefully, that'll catch most of the overspray as we go. I only did one coat in the end because I can do a nice finishing couple of coats once it's all fitted. I'm pretty pleased with how even the undercoat is and it's got into most of those little nooks and crannies there. It's not going to need much of a rub down once it's fitted uh, before finishing. Probably just a really light rub over with some 240 grit and then uh, we'll go straight on with the acrylic eggshell. And here's the skirting boards. Again, these are pretty smooth and don't need much prep work before the finishing and uh, this, this had two coats in the end, so two coats of undercoat on top and one on the back side. And as you all know, never a tidy workshop here at the moment, but uh, all these mouldings will be ready to cut soon once the walls are finished and we can start getting things hung and all finished up. New clay paint is here as well, so we'll be getting that painted on the walls and getting the walls finished, so that'll be the next video. So thanks for watching, remember if you can, do it yourself and we'll see you next time.